Can you test negative for a food allergy, but actually be allergic? Ne false negative test results can occur, but they're pretty rare, thankfully. So especially when somebody doesn't have a very good history of having reactions to foods, we tend to believe our negative test results on both skin testing and blood testing. The gold standard to diagnose food allergy or to rule it out is the oral food challenge. So when the clinical history is indeterminate or the testing is indeterminate, or we, we have somebody with known food allergy and we feel that they may have developed tolerance over time through repeat testing, the best test is to have a supervised graded oral food challenge where you eat gradually increasing amounts of the food in the presence of an allergist. If no symptoms occur after you've ingested the predetermined serving size, then it's very unlikely that you're allergic to that food and you can include it in your diet. So if you have concerns about food allergy and you have a negative test, please talk about next steps with your allergist. On the flip side, if the history is not very suggestive for food allergy, either because somebody's never knowingly eaten a food or experienced a reaction to a food, and we have a negative test result, then yes, we should believe those results almost all the time.